welcome to my channel. My name is Gia Carbonaro and this is going to be my first beauty video. This video is going to be all about how to achieve this everyday makeup routine. So keep on watching if you want to learn how to achieve this and please subscribe. Thanks guys. Alright, so I did already apply and apply an oil-free moisturizer. I happen to use Sunita's, but whatever brand works best for you. Just make sure that you apply it with clean hands all over your face prior to applying any primer or makeup. Now, I'm going to be going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm just going to be putting this all over the center of my forehead, my nose, a little on each cheek and my chin and I have noticed it really does blur out any of my pores and fine lines I've been using it forever I actually have to get a new one soon and then I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation I have mine in 5.5 I don't know if you can see, I brought out one of these where you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see it, but um, the little box on most beauty products, it looks like a lid coming off and then it has a random little number in it. That's actually letting you know how good a product is good for after you open it. So this is 24 months. This is my favorite Origins Active Charcoal Mask. It works really well. But the Giorgio Armani has one too, so it's as it's good for 12 months, so for a whole year after opening. So I'm just gonna put some everywhere. I use a total of two pumps. And then I'm taking my Morphe M439 brush. I'm just going to buff that into my skin. I like to make sure that I roll my lips in and it really stretches the skin out around my lips and make sure that I get everything. There's nothing I hate more than seeing girls with like a line around their lips where they didn't get their foundation. And all the way into the hairline and blend it to the ears and down the neck. Next, I'm going to be taking my favorite concealer. It's the Naked Skin Urban Decay one. I have mine in light neutral. And I just put some my eyes. A lot of people get dark right here around the nose so I'll put some there and then any problem areas that I'm having right now which happen to be there. And then I'm taking my, be um, my damp beauty blender by Real Techniques and I'm just going to be pushing that into the skin. Try not to rub but just push in. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to be setting everywhere that I just put the concealer with my translucent Laura Mercier powder. And then I'm going to be using my Morphe M438 brush. I'm getting a decent amount on my brush. And same thing, just press that in. You don't have to worry about your problem areas because I do like to set my foundation with a powder. So right now I'm using MAC Medium Mineralized Skin Finish with my Morphe E3 brush. 
I'm just going to push that everywhere that we put foundation. And that's just going to help keep our foundation on all day. Kind of brush off any excess. So I'm currently obsessed with MAC Mineral or MAC Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. It's super pretty. It has a lot of like gold flecks in it. I'm going to be using my Morphe M527 brush. And I'm just going to brush it all over the cheekbones, up on my forehead. And this really adds a great highlight as well because of the gold in it. So I love using this during the daytime. For blush, I'm going to be using MAC Peaches. It's a sheer tone blush. Super pretty. With my MAC, I don't know what brush this is actually. I think it's a 133 brush. I'm just going to take this just on the apples of my cheeks. And then a quick little dusting of highlight. I use the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop with my Morphe M501 brush. I'm just going to put a little top of the cheekbone, a little in the center of my forehead, and then down the top of my nose, and then just the tip and my Cupid's bow. Next are eyebrows. So I always start with my Anastasia Beverly Hills just eyebrow brush. I'm going to start with combing them through. And then I have my Dip Brow Pomade in Auburn. So my eyebrows are naturally this color dark brown, but since my hair is so red, I like to add some red just so it kind of goes with it. Just gonna start. I have a pretty nice like start to each of my eyebrows, so I just like to start halfway through the beginning, and then I'll draw my top line. And then the bottom. And then any excess I run through the middle. And then I'll start brushing it through. Same goes for my next eyebrow. This one has a little bit of a bare patch right here. So I just take more product and I fill it in so that it's just as dark as the rest of my eyebrow. Then same thing, I'll just brush it so that it all flows. I need to add a little more of the color right here. Let's make it look more natural. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I'm obsessed with this. It smells just like chocolate. It smells so good. If you guys haven't picked up any of their products that are supposed to smell like chocolate, do it. Don't buy, You don't have to buy them, but at least smell them. They're amazing. Pigment's great. Let me show you this one. This one. Like, It's just an awesome palette. It has a lot of neutrals, some little things of color, highlight colors. It's just an amazing everyday eyeshadow palette. Now, I'm not a big fan of eye primers. I just haven't really found anything that really makes that much of a difference. So I'm going to be going in with Cashew Chew right here first with my M441 brush. I'm just going to be dusting that over my eyes.
Next, I'm going to be taking molasses chip right here with my M433 brush. And this is going to be just over the lid. It's going to add some gold, which will kind of tie in the gold deposit MAC that we brushed all over our cheeks as well. Now the first brush I used was a little damp. It helps make this color really stick and create more of like a foiled look. Next, I'm going to be taking my Morphe E18 brush with the same molasses chip, and I'm going to be going underneath the eye. This will help make your eyes look bigger and rounder. Okay. As you notice, I do have fake eyelashes. Um, they're just eyelash extensions, so... I've been getting them for months now. I'm obsessed with them. I literally wake up and it looks like I already have makeup on. Just saves me a lot of time instead of putting falsies on every single day. They last like three weeks for me and then I have to go get them filled. Now I'm going to be using my MAC, just like black paint pot. I use this as an eyeliner with my MAC 210 brush. It's just a really thin little brush. I'm just going to be starting the inner corner and bringing it down. I don't want to do anything too dramatic just because I really like how my lashes look. And when your line is so thick, you don't really see how long your lashes really are. Make sure the wing is good. So they're both even. And now since I do have my um, eyelash extensions on top, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I use this one for my bottom lashes just because the wand is nice and small. And it can really get in there. and get the little bottom lashes. For lips, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Cookie Matte. It's this really pretty neutral color. I'm just gonna put this everywhere. And then I'm going to finish this off with spraying some Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray all over. And there you have it, a great everyday makeup look. Thanks for watching, guys.